Yeah. The MGBA has this little automatic filter that pops up. It's real cool. It kind of stretched the screen a little, so the edges are kind of cut off. I'm not going to bother changing it because I don't think every game is going to have this type of little border. And that means I'll have to fix it every single time. But, yeah. To go, Amon. Let me remember how to start the timer. Is it 7? Yeah, there we go. The start. Karakuri Castle. Robot Ninja Sasuke. Ebisumaru. Beef. That's where this play is going, man. Uh, it's yet to appear in Japan. A mysterious group of bandits call themselves the Black Ship Gang. Appears on the Black Ship oh, in Greater Edo Harbor. Oh, excuse me. I already can't talk. And begins committing indiscriminate thefts. Their evil, however, will not go unannounced by these four. Blast that rotten Black Ship Gang. They're committing indiscriminate thefts. Really doesn't sit well with me. That we like, but they always stay on the water. But no problem. The black ship gang has another hideout in the hills. The search of it may reveal a clue to their activities. Okay then. Uh, okay then. Ebisumaru Sasuke, we're gonna teach the black ship gang a lesson. Well then, where do we start? Where else? Right here. Isn't there a Goemon game that we tested in the Nintendo 64 game testing? What's this? Wait, we can jump? I thought this was like an overworld thing, but I guess not. Um, hold on, I want to make sure I don't remember what button I have to fast forward in case that happens. I only have a fast forward button set up because I was using this for my Pokemon Emerald. Thing. Cause I was not about to train in real time. <laughs> I have a turbo button mapped, or you could map a turbo button, but I'm not gonna do that. I think on retro art, cause like I said, I was using retro art for all of this, more or less. Um, the well, retro arc was being weird because it wanted me to remap everything, and that would take forever to figure out. This retro arc is not set up very well. Am I not hitting? Oh, I'm not doing like the master sword type of thing anymore. Let me talk to you. Hello. Flashship gang. Yeah, the bunch of goons. Does everything. You think they're still me? I don't know. We sell them, people. Don't do that, kids. You can just run. We don't have to fight this. Oh no, flames! But yeah, I'm using MGBA, and I don't. Ha I'm an idiot. Oh, we just start from the beginning. Oh, come on now. And I don't have a button map for turbo. I could. I might need to, though. Oh, God! Yeah, especially when these people show up. You know, it's more authentic not to have a turbo button, because these are Game Boy games, not SNES games. There would be any... Well... 
Game Boy was more or less making use of uh, NES era games. Well, Game Boy Advance was essentially Super Nintendo portable. Was essentially it. Are you a ninja? Does that mean you can cross a river? I'll try. There's bamboo in my mouth. What? Is it Demon Slayer? No! The end. That's the end of our journey. I don't have a button map to save state. I don't think. I don't even see where I can change the controls for MGBA. I have to be able to. There's no way that you just can't. settings oh it's probably here one sec simulation controls this is saying I'm using a 360 controller that ain't what I'm doing Shortcuts. Save state. I don't see it. Hold on, let me check real quick. What button is the fire that I have? I think my buttons are backwards. Compared to uh, how they would be on a Game Boy. Can I not mash this? And they put you all the way at the beginning of the game. Makes sense, though. Most Game Boy games are like that. Well, most games, period, at the time were like that. Okay, B or A actually is the pro shit, so. Auto fire. Can I remap that? To this? Can I do that? No, I can't. Well, I guess we're going to deal with not having save states available for this. I have fast forward at least, I think. Right? Oh, ah! Okay, well, there's fast forward. Okay, we'll give it one more try. We haven't hit 10 minutes yet. I bet you this music is copyrighted. I had that happen. A lot of my recent videos, for some reason, were getting, uh copyrighted to the music using the Game Boy games. First of all, the fact that games that came out in pretty much the early 90s that are essentially chiptune are getting copyright strikes is unbelievable how the level of uh, copyright these companies have. Again, a lot of these companies at least the uh, developers, the ones that are kind of their subsidies of, of bigger companies, more or less, they don't even exist anymore. Yet they're still claiming copyright for these very, very basic chip tune music. But yeah, let's go, Amon. I'm sure it's fine. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have trouble scoring these because it's been so long that I don't quite know what my standards are for scoring. I'm sure it's like a 3.75 out of 4 or something like that, but again, I don't know. It has been so long.
I'm gonna partly half-ass some of these scores. Okay, next game. Our first official game that starts with an N. Nail and scale. Okay, this game does not have that border that the going on one had. It has two dates to it, which makes me think this was maybe based on potentially a well, we'll have to see. The name of the game makes it sound like it was an arcade game, so it's quite possibly an arcade game. Why do we look like we're from Devo? Look at our little hat. Holy crap! That's a major vertical jump. Look at that. Woo! We kind of fall like a sack of bricks, though. Are these nails? I think they're nails. Makes sense. Okay, I just died. Look at that. Why do you look like a rat? See that? Looks like a rat with sunglasses on. They don't got much uh, reach. This is probably a nest game, actually. That was bonked off of him. Oh, it rebounded. What was that, the pits of hell? You see that? Mike's really cutting that out when I move over. Did I mess up my thing again? Oh my gosh, let me... <laughs> Every time I barely move off the screen, this thing does this. Reset position. Okay. Can I shoot up? Oh, I can. I'm not sure if that hit or not. Oh, I can stand on him. Okay. I was kind of thinking that. So you could stand. Oh, no, no, no! We're going to hell! I don't think that was the right way, anyways. Wait, those were spawn? What? There we go. See what we have to do here. We nailing and we scaling. It's in the name. Oh, why did it not stick? Why did it not stick? No! Okay, I see why. Only certain ones can stick. I guess. The ones that have like the four little screws on them, I guess you can't scale. You can't nail. I think I should be more specific. You cannot scale. You can try to nail, but you cannot scale. Nope, hit, damn it. Okay. Can I make this jump? I can. Oh, snikes. I went the wrong way. Oh, what? Oh, I can just do this, I think. No, watch out! No, watch out for the rat! Oh, phew. No, no, I'm trying to shoot up! What? There. 
going. We nailing and we scaling. Oh, he has to jump on top of them to break. Okay. Interesting. Can you not do it sideways? No, you can't do it sideways. Oh, that's interesting. So, if you have one... I don't know. How did I break that one? Oh, you land on it. Okay. That makes sense. Oh, goodness. Jump on them that way. I think I might have messed up. I can't hit this thing. I don't think so. Can't hit it from there. Damn it. This one's gonna be a pain in the ass to try to do. No! Ugh. You know what? That was nail and scale. It was okay. <laughs> it was okay. Navy Seals. It's just Navy Seals. Name of it all right. By Ocean! Oh, goodness. It's a name you can trust. I think it's Double Ocean, actually. Makes sense that it's the... Navy. Get it, Ocean. Eastern Mediterranean. This must have been a desert storm. Terrorists! Gunboat shoot it down and capture his crew. Navy SEALs are sent to the rescue. Oh my god. Maybe this game's a little racist. Makes sense, it's called Navy SEALs. Not saying the Navy SEALs are racist, but y you get what I'm getting at. They're not specific with the country. They said Eastern Mediterranean, which uh, I think you could potentially piece together where this takes place, just due to the fact of when this game... I'm assuming when it came out. Actually, to me... 9091, yeah, this was Desert Storm. This is like right in the middle of Desert Storm. But this is 100% supposed to be a rock. No! Dang it. Get back on the screen. You stay there. Stay. Alright, the few, the proud, the, the Navy. In the Navy. Best, um... What's it called? Thinking, um, <laughs> men at work. <laughs> men at work is an Australian group. <laughs> Not even related. Um, I, 
can't even remember. Let's butcher the spelling of that. Village people, there we go. In the Navy. He's falling off the screen. Every time I look off my screen, he's resetting. I wish he would just stay in place. I'm sure there's a way to make it stay in place. Also, the sound is very annoying. Let's start to begin. We need to rescue these crates. Alright, this is Call of Duty, 1991 style. Are we in a timer? It's the fuse going down. Is that the fuse to the PTSD going off? So why? Did, so the terrorists here have knives, and not AKs. Interesting. You know, we call them terrorists. Makes you wonder. They're just out here with knives. Oh, they're dual wielding knives, actually. Maybe, you know what? Maybe they're just gonna go cut some wood. Oh, he was running. Okay, maybe that one was guilty. But we're just under the assumption that these people are bad. What an appropriate year for this game to come out. Was there a Call of Duty or Modern warfare S game that came out, uh, Medal of Honor, uh, type of game that came out, like, immediately after 9-11? What? Oh my god. <laughs> that looks nothing like a character model. That came out that had to take place in the Middle East. Because this isn't even bothering to try to hide the fact that this is clearly supposed to be Desert Storm. Is this endorsed by the Navy SEALs? That's what I'm wondering. Is this the seal of approval? The US Navy SEAL seal of approval? Get it, SEAL? Is this potentially propaganda? Yes, no, probably. We need to protect these crates. That was in the picture before we started the level. <laughs> yeah, love, we did it. <laughs> Look at this guy. You found the <laughs> the terrorist hideout. <laughs> That's good. I really like that. That's a good picture. We can't jump and shoot. We can't shoot up. We can pee on the wall like that. Yep, pee on the wall. I'm confused by kind of the score thing going on here. Is it showing me how many points I got? I think that's what it's doing. When it keeps switching to the different number. I think it's telling me how many points I just got for defeating these so-called terrorists. You know, maybe it's pro also propaganda in the sense that they're saying, oh, they just have knives, they don't... Oh, okay, they dropped a brick. You know, never mind. Maybe not. Maybe it's reverse propaganda. That doesn't make any sense. Because they're saying, oh, look at him. He, he died by a damn rock falling on him. Uh, I don't know. They're pea shooters. It's interesting because I think what they're trying to do, it could all be just like a graphical thing on emulator but it looks like three at least three bullets are shooting out but if you look only one bullet's going down each time which that's interesting we have two options you would think higher ground is where you would want to go because we're going to where a helicopter landed right something like that oh good god <laughs> oh 
Oh, rest and pepperoni. Oh my god, there's some really good pictures here. I'm gonna have to go back on my own and try to get those pictures. It's Navy SEALs trademark. So, what, there's a movie called Navy SEALs? What? That came out in 1991? 1990? By a, from Orion? Orion Pictures, didn't they make a lot of shitty movies in the early 80s? Or like, late 80s? I don't know, this game was pretty crap. It wasn't great, that's for sure. Checking something real quick. Did I make sure I put... Um, hmm. Let me fix and put this real quick. You're not going to see it, but it's... Sorry if this is really loud. All right, shut up and slam. Welcome to the jam. NBA Jam trademark tournament edition trademark. Apparently, tournament edition is a trademark thing. You can never say that ever. Was that like ten pages that just told me that this was all trademark? Taurus Games. Never heard of them. Now this is 98, no not 98, 95, so this is not the Dream Team, not the 92 Dream Team. Oh my god, seizure warning. <laughs> Enter initials. Uh, no. It's okay. Um... Are you showing the MVPs of each one? I guess. Zero dunks. Okay, we do not want someone with zero dunks. Sprell has eight, though. That's pretty high. That's Bud Webb? I think so. Rookies. Kid. Uh, Jason Kid? Is that name? Oh, the worm! The worm! We gotta play as the worm. Okay. Dennis Rodman? They're both quite uh, traditional names. Oh, we got the whole thing here. A lot of a lot of uh, no white people. <laughs> Scotty Pippen. Oh, they don't got. I don't. Huh. I don't know enough. Was. Jordan not playing for Chicago in 95? Oh, there's a white guy from Indiana. <laughs> of course. Uh, no Hardaway. My dad had a jersey of his. All 
right, well, we gotta play as Dennis Rodman, so. No Shaq at the time? I don't know these specific positions. Wasn't Rodman center? Maybe he wasn't. Maybe he was point guard. Is point guard a position? <laughs> I'm an idiot. I should know. I used to be really into basketball. But it has been a hot minute. Okay, we're doing San Antonio. Is it just two on two? What? Are we not playing the whole team? Oh, okay. You can tell it's Dennis Rodman by the bleached blonde hair. I don't even know where I am. Ooh. I, I feel like this isn't good. Even for being a sports game. Ooh, that was a powerful dunk, though. I like that dunk effect. Oh my god. This isn't... A... Look at that all-white crowd. <laughs> Can you even see the score on screen? Oh, you can see it back there. Fam, I don't know. I can't tell. Because the number indicators don't pop up. They, like, they go away. No! Ugh! I think we're getting our ass kicked. Zero to ten. No, I don't know how to dunk. Oh, okay, we did it. We dunked. I think. I'm like 90% sure that... We're not controlling Dennis Rodman, but... Holy shit! Look at that 20-foot vertical leap. <laughs> uh... Oh, take him to North Korea, Dennis Rodman. Do it. No, past the rock. No, we need to get the rock. So there's a one and a four. I don't... Are these the player numbers? I don't know. I feel like we're missing something here. No! What? No, why do you pass? No, dunk! Oh, three-pointer. I don't know these controls. Maybe if I knew the controls, this wouldn't be so bad. <laughs> Why do you pass it to him? Oh, is that per this person on the other team? Never mind. Maybe it was. End of first quarter. An open player is more likely to make a basket, so pass to your open teammate whenever possible. Um, you know what? It has not been five minutes, but I think I can already give a score of this. This game is crap. I am not a sports game fan, but from my understanding, most people do not like these sports games on handheld. I do not think a lot of people just in general find these to be good. Dennis Robin. Eight injuries. Oh my god, we broke every butt on our body. But yeah, I'm not a sports game fan, but I can say with potential certainty that this is not a well liked game. Who knows? Maybe people love this game. Listen, it's not been five minutes. I get it. But... Actually, I want to check something real quick. If this is who I think it is. Actually, I think it'd be easier just to reset. Reset.
fast forwarding. Get over. Okay, there we go. Practice mode probably would have helped. <laughs> Look at this guy's forehead on the right, shrimp. So if this is Spud Webb, Spud Webb is one of the, I think he was the shortest basketball, professional basketball player in history, but he could also dunk, which was insane. Like it physically should have been impossible that he was able to dunk, but he did. So, uh, yeah, that was NBA Jam Tournament Edition trademark. A whole bunch of Japanese games coming up, which we're not doing. Uh, at this rate, we're probably never going to do them, because there's a lot of them. Almost half of this library is Japanese-exclusive games. Oh, is it... I think I know why that why uh, Goemon did that because it was SGB Enhanced which is Super Game Boy which is an adapter for the Super Nintendo and I think what it did was that it gave some certain game some like borders kind of like what we saw with Goemon that's interesting I think the Pokemon games have that like they had a little border that showed up if you played them via your uh, Game Boy adapter that you put onto your Super Nintendo I never had one, so... I never had a Super Nintendo. Not on my own, at least. My mom's roommate had one. But I've never physically owned a Super Nintendo. Sorry if you could hear my dogs barking in the background. Okay, Japanese game. Japanese, Japanese, Japanese. Nemesis! I don't think this is... I don't think this is <laughs> Resident Evil. Oh goodness. Is that a Triceratops and a Maui? The Maui thing? Pistachio? Ultra Games. Ultra Games! It's a really quick uh, refresh thing. Konami. Nemesis. I don't hear any music. Um, rest. I don't know what rest means. Oh, it's just uh, whatever. I can't think of the name of the game. Not Galaga, right? No, Galaga's. Yeah, I'll go with the other direction. But Konami had a game like this. I feel like this is lagging, but it's not. It's playing fine. Oh, ad break's starting up. Get lost, damn. I want to check something real quick. This is also a history thing, the. This is some uh, Game Boy history stream. Side scroller. Uh, Radius. Is that what I'm thinking of? Yeah, Radius. Published by Konami. Yep, that's what I was thinking. Because it was also Konami that. But Namco did Galaga. Actually, it's Gal Gal Galaxian, the original, like the true original, right? Yeah, 
that's Grady, that's what I'm thinking of. Interesting. Okay. No! Oh, I fell off the little Game Boy screen again. I'll add on to the timer. There we go. That's like an auto shoot thing. I'm just holding on to the button. That was an option in the settings. I don't know why you would never, why you want to do that. Wait a minute, you could use Turbo, I think, natively because of the adapter, the Super Game Boy adapter. Because the Super Nintendo had Turbo option. At least you could buy a controller that has Turbo. Do they have bombs? We don't have bombs. Like, wants to drop down, I mean. Because there are these guys on the bottom of the screen. How am I supposed to get to them? Oh, I guess we're just dodging. Oh, goodness. Ah! Okay. There's some good dodging, I think. This ad is really weird that I'm looking down the side of my screen. The side stream. It has like an anorexic kid, some doctor hitting someone with a hammer. It's an Airheads commercial, what? I thought it was some type of medical thing. <laughs> okay. It's got Nemesis. This is as Gradius. It's by Konami. Was this the sequel to Gradius? I don't know if Ultra Games did a Game Boy port of Gradius. It came in 1990. I know Gradius was way older than that. Because Gradius was an arcade game originally. I believe, right? Yeah. Well, I guess I came out arcade and console at the same time. Huh. But yeah, I mean, it is what it is. You you know this game. It's Gradius. It plays fine. It seems like. I press S. Is this to switch weapons? I think it is. It goes two, two, two. I press it. Nothing happens. S. Press it again. Nothing happens. What is it? Does it spell something? Oh. Oh no! I hit the volcano on the ceiling. I hit the ceiling volcano. M. I don't know what this does. D. Okay, it keeps switching. Okay, it's a certain type of shot that it switches to. It just keeps adding on to things. Okay, there's missiles. I don't know. It's it's interesting. Like it's it wasn't doing that earlier. Like it wasn't switching weapons on me. M must mean missile. Okay, now that spot just went black for some reason. L. I don't. L. Orb. O must mean orb. S must mean the single shot. L is laser. I don't know how we dodged that. I feel like I should have got hit by that. I suppose if you really like Gradius, you would really like this. Because, I mean, it's good. Pretty good. I mean, it handles 
quite well. I feel like I'm not getting hit by bullshit hits. Like, they're not clipping through or anything like that, so... I think it's designed well. There's some parallax scrolling going on, that's pretty neat. I mean, parallax scrolling isn't anything new, especially... Well, this is 1990, actually. That's pretty early. And not that Game Boy games didn't have parallax scrolling. This... I don't know. I don't think the technology of making, or the knowledge of how to make a good Game Boy game didn't exist back then, because there was plenty of good early Game Boy games, but... And I don't think the technology got a whole lot better between this and by the time the Game Boy Color came out. But... I just realized this, the noise that this is making is very annoying. Game over! Okay, good job. Uh, uh, yeah, that was good. I'm not even gonna give it a score. I'm gonna give it a gradius out of gradius out of five. Now there's a sequel to this called Nemesis Two. Uh, I don't actually think I have it downloaded. Yeah, I don't have it downloaded. I'm assuming it is just a straight up sequel to this game. It's probably better. They might have approved some things, even though, like I said, there's not a whole lot more just gameplay wise that was probably changed but it was probably just more added to it i'm assuming it's good i'm just still gonna give it a gradius out of five i doubt it's bad uh let me see Even though the naming scheme here, it's not really adding up with what I have here. Neto World Heroes is just King of Fighters, which we did. That was back in the K's. Yeah, I specifically put that as the same game. Just that's the original Japanese name. Chess Master. We are going to be skipping that. We're not going to be playing chess, I'm sorry. We will, however, be playing Nigel Mansell's World Championship Racing. Yep. Well, that was a good sound that just made. No trademarks, baby! Love a game with no trademarks on it. Ah, oh, look at those. Looks like my kindergarten level drawings. That's how you draw a car, all right, baby. <laughs> Formula One. Let's see, is that enough? Driving school? We ain't going to driving school. The Mansell Circuit. Nah. Where do we want to race? Is the Soviet Union not an option? I guess not. Wait. The US isn't even on here. I guess it's because the U.S. doesn't really have tracks. Actually, they do, though. Indy 500. What am I talking about? Um, yeah, U.S. is not on here. This is the U.S. release of the game. Apparently, there was a European version, which interesting. The Indy 500 is stock cars, right? It is. Yeah, it is. I, yeah, interesting. <laughs> that That's not even a track on here, I guess. Unless we have to unlock the United States. Unless I'm an idiot in San Marino, is referring... I don't think there's a city in the U.S. named San Marino, right? Also, these are not city names, they're country names. 
Uh, whatever. We'll pick... Let's go Canadia. Oh no, not the French! I want to go back! <laughs> I'm just joking. But I did want to see where each of these takes place. I'm assuming this is Johannesburg. Kialami. See, all I know is one country, one city name in South Africa. These capitals? I, I'm assuming they're not capitals. It's Strolly. I'm more or less just looking at what these city names are. Munza! Feels kind of JoJo-ish. We could do that. Great Britain. Silverstone! Hockenheim. Why Montreal? I don't know. I guess stock car racing is kind of a more European thing, which if you want to get real European, you go to Montreal. <laughs> no offense to anyone there. San Paulo! Well, at least I know what San Paulo is. Barcelona! can't see it, but... It's not letting me type anything. <laughs> Stop it! There we go. Okay. There we go. France. Magni Cors. Is that like Agni Kai? Monte Carlo. Spafranc Champs? What? <laughs> what am I looking at here? Is that really the name of a place? I feel like it's not. Suzuka. Adelaide. Alright, I don't know where we're going. Let's go to, I don't know, Silverstone, sure. Tune up. Can we tune up in here? Uh, oh, uh <laughs> no thanks. I'm not gonna spend time worrying about that. Go to race. What the shit? Okay. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that the game's bugging out. That's why some of those... Why some of the names didn't look right. <laughs> this does not look right at all. <laughs> um, I think like Missing Nose trying to take over. You go real fast and you turn. Alright. You know what? Typical kind of racing game on the Game Boy. Especially when it's from a first person point of view like this. It, it sucks. It really sucks. Look like we're in Mickey Mouse gloves. Uh, yeah, I'm already gonna go out and say that despite the game doing that on the screen, it's... this is pretty crap. Is it the worst racing game so far, though, on the Game Boy? I don't think so, because I'm still remembering one of the NASCAR games being absolute horse garbage. 
but this is a close second. Like I said, the only, like, good so far racing games are from... <sighs> like, some of the top-down, like, the Micro Machine ones, those were okay, I think. Don't quote me. And if they're from, like, a third-person point of view, those ones are a little better. But this, nah. Whenever it's from, like, a driver's seat point of view game, like, first person, it's not good. They're not good at all. I don't think these types of games got good until we reached the 3D era of gaming. It doesn't work in a 2D environment. <laughs> I don't even know what place we got. I, I cannot see. It says we're in 6th place somehow. 6 out of what though? Now we're in 12th place. So the map is still saying that we're in 6 somehow. This is lap 2. Never mind. We're, it's see right on there. It says position 12. I can't get past these motherfuckers. Move! God damn it. They won't get out of the way. <laughs> I'm trying to pass. They're lane hogging. Uh, isn't that illegal? We're not even going that. F I mean, yeah, we're not even going that fast. I get it because we're hitting turns and shit, but oh, okay, never mind. We're going okay. 160, 165, 170. Never mind. We're hit. We're hitting some high speeds. I didn't even... Was there a tunnel? I never even noticed a tunnel. This is just a qualifying race, and we're not even halfway through. Why did my position go up on the screen, but the lap number didn't change? I... I don't... Uh, I don't like this. <laughs> I am curious about something real quick. I am... Well... The hell? Well, okay, there's the next lap. I'm curious as to whether or not they're just gonna, like, for Japan, for example. Fuji Television? What? Never mind. I guess this is a Japanese produced game, so they probably wouldn't just do, like, oh, for Japan, let's just put, like, a pagoda in the background. I do want to take a look to see what they do, though. It's probably just the same damn thing. It's raining. Bunch of little mountains. I'm not sure if this game has dynamics to it as to whether or not, like... Updating your car actually does jack crap. It might make it go a little faster, but the whole wheel hardness and whatnot, I kind of doubt that actually is programmed into this type of game. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's Nigel Mansell's World Championship Racing. All right. Sure is a game. I I don't even know what to say. It's, it's bad. <laughs> 